Hi, I'm Carolyn Jakes, and I'm a Canadian who has been living in Mexico since 2014. I've used watercolors and acrylics over a period of 22 years, but my favorite is encaustic painting. Whether you want to paint with encaustic or whether you want to be able to evaluate someone else's work, perhaps before you buy it, or you're just curious, doesn't matter. This is what we're going to do. And today, our first video will be about the history of encaustic. So let's begin. Encaustic predates oil paint. 2,000 years ago, Greek shipbuilders used encaustic to caulk the joints in the ships, to waterproof hulls, and to paint patterns. Sometimes the patterns were kind of scary because if they were warships, they'd want the enemy to see something coming towards them that was very ugly and scary. Mummy cases were decorated. And here's an example of one. This particular painting is in the J. Paul Getty Museum in Malibu, California. It dates back to 100 AD. And this picture of Isadora is in excellent condition, even though it's more than 2,000 years old. So besides shipbuilders, people who prepared mummy cases also used encaustic to paint the portraits of the people inside the, the mummy cases. So what is encaustic paint? First of all, it's a mix of three things, beeswax, pigment, and resin. Resin is used because it raises the, the melting temperature of the wax. Don't really need to worry about, uh, about uh, an encaustic painting melting in your house. There's no way that your house would get hot enough unless it was totally on fire. Encaustic means burning in. So each time you put a layer of beeswax on your painting, you need to burn it in. You don't want to be able to lift it with your nail. And you might have 14 layers of, of beeswax in your painting. And that would not be good if someone could just come by and, and start peeling it off. So in fact, when, when the painting is done, it's one big thick layer if you've used 14 layers. It's not 14 individual layers. They're all fused together. Why did it become obsolete? Well, it's rather laborious. You have to have an open fire. It's difficult to fuse each layer. Just too much work. Jasper Johns, an American, gets the credit for being the person who brought it back to, to uh, popular use. And this was in the 1950s. And I'm going to show you I forgot to mark it. <laughs> so I just have to find it. Here it is. This is Jasper John's work from, from 1986. And the name of this particular painting is called Fall. And he gets the credit for making it popular again. Diego Rivera, here in Mexico, experimented with encaustic in the 1930s, before Jasper Johns, but he didn't do much of it. Modern tools make all the difference. Electricity allows artists to use heat guns and irons instead of an open fire. 
There's no need to varnish the finished product. You don't need to cover the painting with glass. It's impervious to moisture. It won't darken or yellow. And let's look at a couple more. I absolutely adore this one. You need to look at not only from the top, but from the side to see how high this man has built up the, the wax. This is Martin Klein, 1998, and it's called Culture. It's an amazing piece of work, I love it. Now we'll go back to one more. This one is also really impressive. This is 1999, also by Martin Klein, and it's called Green Bloom. Twenty years ago, I could not buy encaustic paint in Canada, in Canada. but today I can. A company in Kingston, New York, makes an absolutely magnificent encaustic paint. As far as I'm concerned, encaustic is the most beautiful paint available. Now, in order to conclude this very brief history, I would like to quote Jasper Johns. When he was interviewed with this question, what is, working with an, what is working with encaustic like for you? Is it a struggle or does the wax just flow? Jasper Johns laughed. <laughs> One watches what happens. Things happen unexpectedly. Un unexpectedly. Some that I would be happy to live without, but it has been a pleasure to watch what happens. In my next video, I'll show you the tools and materials I use. And like Jasper Johnstead, it'll be a pleasure to see what happens. Thank you.